So we got a little bit of snow today. I figured I'd take the van out, give it a drive, um, film it in the snow, kind of in deep snow. Let you guys see how it does. Let's take a measurement back here. I just come back here. Oh, almost 10 inches of snow. So like nine and a half. So another feature that I forget to mention, um, but comes in handy on days like this, this does have remote start. So you can double click the button, get the van started, get it warmed up. It's starting to melt the snow a little bit. And then pretty much everybody's had a remote start by now, I feel like, but then you just put the key in and just twist on. Everything powers on. Oh, it's like a heavy wet snow too. It's gonna be fun. So, since I know this is going to be a little bit tough of a drive to get out of here being nine inches deep, you know, and unplowed, I'm going to go ahead and turn off traction control to begin with. So you'll want to come down to the one that shows a little picture of the transit and the little cogs on the side and hit the menu key. And you will go to driver's assistance and traction control. Turn that off. Traction control does well when you're driving and you're cornering, but if you're going to be trying to just drive up a hill of deep snow, you probably want to make sure you start with this turned off and it doesn't have a there's no fast easy button to turn it off on your dashboard you know what i'm saying you have to go in the menu so better to plan ahead and just turn it off right now so i got on the little display that shows your tires and your all-wheel drive so as i give it a little bit more gas you can see they'll turn a little bit more blue um, i can definitely feel the deep snow in front of me but so far i'm not losing traction or nothing i do have a hill coming up get out of this little neighborhood, so let's see how it goes. Just to see what happens, I went ahead and put it in normal mode, even though I'm still driving on like snow and ice. And when you come back over here to the intelligent all-wheel drive, it's still engaging all four wheels equally for right now. So couldn't trick it that way, but I have said in another video that if you are already in normal mode and you encounter snow, come up on it, you'll probably be in two-wheel drive, which will be rear-wheel drive, and then it'll take it like a split second just to switch over. Something I just realized, when you engage it back into normal mode, you'll notice that in the tachometer section over there, my traction control is turned back on. So I don't know if I put it back in slippery. Oh, yeah, I'll have to like redo the traction control. Which I can't do while I'm driving. That's kind of annoying. So I pulled over and stopped, and I'm kind of just learning here. If I put this in normal, traction control engages on its own. But I did just realize that if you put this in mud ruts, traction control shuts itself off automatically. So that's probably your easiest go to for disengaging traction control is just come over here hit the mud and ruts one, and then it'll turn it off for you. So it's kind of nice. So I do have it engaged in the mud and ruts. Um, something about that, it only stays in first gear, so low gear basically. But it is doing awesome trying to get through the snow at like five miles per hour. <laughs> this is another good time to demonstrate the fog light upgrade I did so those LED fog lights even though it's still daylight you can really tell when you turn them on they look really nice they have really good throw on the sides they help you see like how deep the snow is that you're trying to like plow through well looks like this part of the road has been plowed already um, got it back in slippery mode rather than mud ruts it's doing amazing um, I'm really glad to know that it can handle you know 10 inches of snow nine to ten inches my other my other car it only has six inches of ground clearance so if that was my only vehicle i'd be snowed in today so overall very impressed um, i didn't have any moment where i felt like i was gonna slip or get stuck or lose traction see i just powered up over that corner back into this deeper snow again no problem 